I've had some requests to record a relaxation technique and so today I'm going to teach you a strategy for how to do relaxation using imagery. Now I didn't make this up. It's based on progressive muscle relaxation and it's something you can do. It's simple. You can do it every day and the value is it helps reduce the excess stimulation in your nervous system. It's, uh, it's a form of uh, deep relaxation, focused relaxation. It's not hypnosis, but I find that because people's minds are very busy, that it's good to, to include some imagery so that they can relax their body and their mind. So I'm going to give you some suggestions on, on how to prepare for this uh, during this session as al also when you're doing this by yourself. So let's talk about the preparation part. Obviously you want to pick a setting that's quiet and comfortable where the temperature isn't too warm, isn't too cool. Some people like a certain temperature to relax so you pick what works for you where you're not going to get interrupted. I also encourage people to choose an image to keep their mind focused on uh, so that if and when your mind wanders you can just go back to the imagery. It's normal for your mind to wander. Now in terms of an image you can pick a real place some place where you live that's very comfortable some place you like to visit a memory from the past, a place in the park. Uh, some people come up with an ideal image that isn't necessarily based on somewhere they've really been to. And some people like to pick an image from the Bible, like Psalm 23 with Jesus being our shepherd. So an image helps our mind have a place to kind of center. I also encourage people to think about with their image. What are the sounds that you associate with this image? Do you hear birds? Do you hear music? What are you seeing? Do you see uh, vegetation? Do you see any water? What smells are associated with this place? Do you smell flowers? Do you smell fresh cut grass? Think about the temperature you want to be in your image. Think about the time of day. The reason that we want to add detail to the image is the more detail you have, the more you involve your senses, the more effective that's going to be. So if you've got your image, let's move to the actual exercise. So I'm going to talk you through one portion of the body at a time. I'm going to encourage you to focus on certain parts of the body and certain sensations. And uh, you might want to close your eyes. I'll have some things, peaceful things to look at in the video. But this will work better if you close your eyes. So we're going to start with your right shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingers allow those muscles to become loose, heavy, relaxed, just resting at your side. Now we're going to focus on the left shoulder, elbow, wrist, and fingers. Allow those muscles to become loose, heavy, relaxed peaceful. So now your right arm and your left arm. Loose, heavy, relaxed, peaceful. Now I'd like you to focus on your right leg. Through your knee, through your ankle, through your toes, Allow those muscles to become loose, heavy, relaxed. Now the left leg, starting at the top of your leg, through your knee, 
through your ankle, through your toes. Allow those muscles to become loose, heavy, relaxed, peaceful. So now your right arm and your left arm, your right leg and your left leg, all those muscles, loose, heavy, relaxed, just sinking into the place where you're sitting. Remember to draw on your image so your mind has a peaceful place to rest. Now we're going to focus on allowing the muscles in the back of your neck, the back of your shoulders, down the trunk of your body, into your legs, all those muscles now getting loose, heavy, relaxed, peaceful. Now the muscles in the front of your neck, down the front of the trunk of your body, down through your legs, all those muscles, loose, peaceful, relaxed. So now the back of your neck, the back of your body, the front of your neck, the front of your body, your right leg, your left leg, your right arm, your left arm, all those muscles, peaceful, calm, relaxed. And go back to your image and allow your mind to rest in a peaceful place. Now we're going to focus on your forehead. Allow those muscles to get loose and relaxed. The muscles around your eyes, the muscles around your temple, the muscles that hold your jaw, let it become loose and relaxed. The muscles around your mouth, getting loose, heavy and relaxed. Now the top of your head, behind your ears, the back of your head, all those muscles getting loose, heavy, relaxed. So now your right arm and your left arm, your right leg and your left leg, the back of your neck, the back of your body, the front of your neck, the front of your body, your forehead, around your eyes, around your jaw, around your mouth, the top of your head, behind your ears, the back of your head, all those muscles getting loose, heavy, relaxed, peaceful, safe. Now scan your body and see if there's any part that still seems tight and allow those muscles to become loose and heavy and relaxed, just sinking into the place where you're sitting. And you can continue to enjoy your image of peace and calm and safety. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So most people find that a very calm and uh, relaxing way to reduce their body stimulation. I encourage people to do something like this for about 15 minutes a day if they're having trouble with anxiety. 
You can add quiet music or nature sounds. I didn't want to do this on this video in case it would um, bother people. If you do this kind of a relaxation technique at night, sometimes your sleep will be better. Or you can use it during the day to reduce the intensity of what's going on around you. You can add breathing exercises. Those are easy to find on the internet. So this is one tool to reduce your stress and if you do it consistently over time, you may bring down your body's regular level of stimulation that you're used to that maybe isn't good for you. You also might be interested in looking at um, internal dialogue or the way you talk to yourself as a way to change your stress level, which I have a video about that, and also looking at lifestyle factors that can help reduce your stress. And I also have a video on that. So if you would permit me, I'd like to pray for you for peace. So Lord, we invite you now to deposit your peace into us, to teach us how to rest in you, to teach us how to pace our lives, to live at a more comfortable and reasonable level of involvement and activity with enough time for work, enough time for rest, enough time for fun. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening. If this helped you, you can find my other videos on YouTube. You can find my podcast, Life Without Baggage, on your favorite platform. Or you can find my audiobooks and paperback books on Amazon. Or visit my website to see all my media. Thanks for listening.